Hello, it's uh, 6 a.m. here and uh, sharing tomorrow. So I'm gonna get in the ewes. It's supposed to rain at about um, one o'clock today. I've got some uh, the ewe lambs to share as well, but I just think the ewes are dry now. So I might as well keep them dry, get the ewes done. Um, and then it's easier to get the ewe lambs dry. So we've got enough space in the shed for a couple of thousand ewes if I really fill it right up. Yeah, I'll be able to keep them dry if I if I want to. So the contractor reckons he's, he's just got four shearers. So they should get about a thousand done in a day. So I need to, if I, if I bring in, if I have 2,000 under cover, then I've got enough for two days. But it does mean that some of them will be in for two nights, but I'll just let them out on grass tomorrow morning, um, but have them under cover so that they're dry. So um, they'll get some grass and they'll get water, but um, yeah, just means that I'll have the shearing and they can keep shearing the whole time. Um, it is a bit of a muck around for myself, but yeah, it does mean that and uh, keep sharing. Yeah, I'm gonna whip down, grab those ewes, pop them in here. There's no um, water trough in here, so that's what you want. You kind of want them off water, but I'll just make sure I've got a thousand. I'm, uh, I need to recount, um, have a look at my tellies, but I'm pretty sure there's a thousand up on that hill. And then the others, I'll bring down, pop them on the grass. They can go on the shed uh, or off the grass at about 10 a.m., 11 a.m for a couple of hours and then go in the shed. So um, when you bring stock into the shed, you kind of want them empty, because otherwise they just um, crap and wee in the shed and then it fills up with crap. So um, yeah, you at least want them off the grass for a little bit. That's kind of why when, uh, when we bring in stock, we'll leave them outside for a little bit or just bring in what you need and then um, process them and then bring some more in. Uh, is usually the best way of doing things, but um, sometimes it doesn't work that way, but yeah, that is the um, best way. Rightio, I'm gonna head off and get this job done. Well, unfortunately we can't see bloody 15 metres, so um, hopefully the dog's still a good job. Go right. and get up, Gus. Go and get up, Gus. for a day. Doesn't look like 980. Pretty sure we got them all. I'll give them a count. And I know there's a couple just that um, poke through the through wire. I need to get them. So I'll get those stragglers um, and then we'll tuck them down the road and put them in the yards. Hopefully it clears up a bit before it rains because otherwise these will be damp um, and I don't want them damp.
guys, but yeah, as I was saying, it should be about 980. I don't think Gus got those two stragglers. I don't know what he was up to. I couldn't find the bugger. It's a 10 heat for your paddock and I couldn't find them. So um, I'll have to get them later. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to get out the handy piece for her. Daggy one. Now, I want to count of these, so I'm just going to see if I can count them down down the way. Get them um, off the water. Go and get up, Doug. Go and get up. Two, four, six. Yeah, I'll probably get them in before it rains, which is before lunch, because we've got a lunch for the old man today. Um, it's his birthday tomorrow, another dirty one. There was a couple bloody jumping over the race well, which is great. Yeah, it's typical. I'll just um, pin these off so they have heaps of room to dry out. But yeah, they'll be damn push. They're looking okay. Oh, I actually did think they were quite skinny when I put them through the race well. These ewes, they're just, I mean, yeah, they could be better. We'll get there. I'll get them fat. Working on it. It'll take a couple of years before I know what I'm really doing. Well, I'm just getting these girls a bit closer. So just before lunch, I'll get them in and chuck them off grass. And, um... Sit down, pup! They're late! Late! They're not hot! These were the um, clean ones, we didn't have to dag. <clears throat> Hopefully they come through here. Alright, here goes. Here goes. Late! They're not hot! Get in, pup! All I got, pup! Go, pup! Go, pup! <coughs> Up. Chuck them up here for an hour or two and then um, in the yards and then undercover. Hopefully the sun comes out. Looks like it might. It's just about there but fog's just lifting now. Hopefully it doesn't come back in. Come on girls. Coming back round. Sit down, Gus. Go, Gus. Off you go. They're not looking too bad, but, um, yeah, there's a few light ones in here, for sure. This paddock's probably... Oh, I should have a look on my map, but I think it's only... A hectare, just over a hectare. Usually you only put in oh, 20, 20 ewes in here to set stock, a little bit less, 17. Um, they lamb really well on this paddock because there's so much shelter. You know, you chuck um, 17 in and you might get, um, what is that, 20, 34 lambs, get 200% if... Um, the scan twins if you're lucky. Well, I go, Doug. Come on. Well, I go, Bip. Well, this is the process of shedding up. Um, I think they've dry, dried out. Oh, I actually haven't felt any yet, but um, they should. It's gotten warm. It doesn't take that much. It's just it was just a bit of a dew 
that um that uh, they needed to get rid of. So I'll give them a feel. Make sure they're all good. I'll just close these off. I think we've probably got enough down there. enough room in there. Yeah, there's a fair bit of room. sharing the ewes, it's all done. It's five, ten past five and uh, look at this. Today it didn't rain, so uh, I've got 600 tutus in and we've got leftover ewes. So here are the Sean ewes, they're actually a bit light, not that happy with it. Um, so yeah, might think about condition scoring them and and uh, now that they're shorn, it's easier to do that. Um, and then, or even just do an eye draft and um, pull out the light ones again. But I um, haven't done that straight off the cheese, which is a common thing to do, so I'll have to do it later on. But um, yeah, looks like it's about to rain, so it's time to. Uh, oh, my in front of the camera. Uh, get these girls in. So I've um, got Dukester and uh, Bebe. So um, we'll whip these in um, and yeah, uh, basically knock off, um, put these girls away. Um, there's a paddock I've saved up, got a bit of grass in there for them and I'm going to start rotating them a little bit faster, get them eating a bit more, get them on better feed, uh, fresher feed as well, uh, higher ME, higher ME metabolism energy, the more they can eat. So it doesn't sit in their stomach for as long and then they digest it faster so they're getting more energy the more they eat um, than, than the rough stuff and they can eat it faster because it's not sitting in their stomach for you know an extra few hours. Well it's cut out time um, so all the mixages are done so I'll count these out and I got a count yesterday and um, they count them on their, on their uh, counters so uh, we can compare counts but um, yeah I think the last one or two are just coming down the chute oh, go. well end of day two and uh, it's raining so I'm just taking away these tutus they got the mix age done today um, done 260 odd of the tutus yeah just got to take these back to their paddock Enjoy the rain, even though we're sharing, which is, it's always annoying to share when it's raining. So, it is what it is, and we're getting it done. We've got dry sheep for tomorrow, and we'll have dry sheep for the next day. And we should be done uh, midday Thursday. So it started, uh, well, we did a day Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, half a day Thursday. Happy days. Well, it's day three. Uh, these are the earlies. They're good to go. They're looking pretty good, actually, these girls. Um, fat enough. So um, I'm just gonna chuck them in a nice close paddock and I'll um, take them further around the road um, either tomorrow or the next day. Probably the next day there's a fair bit of feed in this little paddock. We're getting through them. We just got uh, onto the lambs now. There's 820 odd, so won't be long. Hopefully by 9.30, 10 tomorrow, they'll be all done. We're sharing. No, I'm quite happy with these, but the mixed age were a bit light, and so so same with the two dos actually. After the wool came off, I was surprised, but um, yeah, I'll be able to turn that around now that we've had heaps of rain, and it's summer, so um, we've got a bit of space. 
gotten rid of uh, 225 lambs yesterday, so yeah, we're getting somewhere. Be happy in there there's a bit of feed these are the uh, replacements potential replacements I've got 800 odd in here and um, you yeah, know they've, they've been shorn well I've got a few um, out that were either marked wrong got a little bit of black wool or um, got a tip on them so there's a few out there um, yeah so have them on the guys that was shearing for 2024 got uh, all our ewes shorn uh, the tutus and the replacement new lambs potential replacement new lambs so um, it's a big step in the year and um, the uh, all those sheep should do a whole lot better with their wool off they'll be happier in the summer um, it's been drying out um, a little bit more um, it looks like we're gonna get that um, Bit more of a typical February compared to last year so um, the sheep will be very happy about getting shorn and getting back out there and um, yeah growing and, and, and getting ready for the next season so um, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in the next one